Michelle Zappias. And this is my son, Mason. Hi. And I am David Deppius. Mason was diagnosed with medulloblastoma in April of 2015. Um, he was seven years old at the time. Um, we noticed that he was having some problems in school with writing and um, also his balance and coordination were off. So we went to our primary physician who had said that um, he had failed some of the neuro neurological testing and wanted him to go for further testing. So we had an MRI set up for two weeks later, um, but I couldn't wait that long. So we ended up going into the emergency room at Children's Hospital and he was diagnosed um, through a CT scan. They found a large tumor in, the, in his cerebellum in his brain. Um, when we went through it, the beginning, they had told us that he was gonna have a pretty rocky road and that it was going to most likely be a cancerous tumor and prepared us for radiation and chemotherapy. Um, he had surgery a week later to remove the tumor. They were able to remove all of it. Um, within a month, he had started radiation for six weeks, which was daily radiation and six months of chemotherapy. He had to get a lot of blood transfusions. Um, so we were at the day hospital and the clinics a lot, um, overnight stays at the hospital. I'm not real sure if when we would go to the emergency room with the fever, when we would be coming home. Um, I think the most, the longest we had to stay was probably week and that was just when he had a fever, an unexplained fever because all his counts were so low. So um, we would have to stay at the hospital a lot. I would say the hardest part was not knowing when the future was going to hold. Um, I would take each week or each month and just look at that, what we had to do, what appointments we had set up. Um, and then we would, I wouldn't look too much further into the future because I didn't know what future health for us? Um, I didn't really know what was going on, so I just went with it. But how did you feel when you had to go into the hospital? Scared. So right now he is getting scans every six months, and he sees the oncology team, an endocrinologist, a rehab medicine doctor, um, so they're watching all of his hormone levels. He's on thyroid medication. Um, his adrenal gland isn't working, so he's on cortisone or cortisol um, for adrenal deficiency. And he's on a growth hormone, so a lot of the um, normal hormones that the body creates um, took a hit. So, and that's mostly because of the medications and the radiation. I would say we look at things differently now. Um, just taking every day as a new day. Um, he missed a lot of his childhood. My older son missed a lot of family time um, in very important years. And um, right now we try to live each day to the fullest and don't take anything for granted. My biggest thing is it can happen to you. The biggest, before this all happened, it, was, it ain't gonna happen to my family, it can happen to to support the MAC Fund in our fight against childhood cancer and related blood disorders, please visit www.macfund.org slash donate.